We are your local election headquarters. On the back of the ballot in New York, a controversial proposition that would expand discrimination protections. Now, currently the state constitution provides protection only for race, color, creed, and religion. ABC 22's Jamie DeLine tells us what else could be added. Known as Proposition 1 on the ballot, the Equal Rights Amendment would change the state constitution to expand discrimination protections to more people. That includes age, ethnicity, sexual orientation, but it also includes gender identity and pregnancy outcomes. I think most New Yorkers think we do have these rights, and we've passed many laws that say we have these rights. The dilemma is, if you end up in a discrimination lawsuit, and a court says, we don't see that in the Constitution, you don't have that right. The courts overrule the law because it's not in the Constitution. Supporters of the amendment say by adding pregnancy outcomes, it would codify abortion in the state's Constitution. I asked Senator Liz Kruger, the amendment's author, why the term abortion wasn't specifically used. It's not just about abortion. It's about the right to have a child. It's about the right to make decisions over health care in your own body and not have the state do that, but also not allow employers to think that they have a right to determine those things for you. Some groups are worried that the broad language of the amendment will have unintended consequences. In a statement, Senate Minority Leader Rob Ort said, quote, Proposition 1 is a radical attack on the rights of women and girls, especially in sports. New York Democrats are using this measure to push an extreme agenda that undermines fairness and common sense and strips parents of their rights. They're making all this stuff up. I worked with endless constitutional attorneys. These issues never even arose. And since I've been following up with those same attorneys since people have been coming up with these sort of ridiculous hypotheticals they're like no none of that is actually true eugene welch a trial lawyer for tully rinky says the proposition leaves a lot of unanswered questions we don't know what we're going to get um you know it, it, it's a well-intended effort to, to make discrimination illegal for a lot more categories of people but what does that mean in practice and that remains to be litigated in some court of new york state Reporting in Albany, I'm Jamie DeLine.